David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today, I have for you an updated version of a pen which I reviewed a few years back, and that would be the Dream Pen from Launcher. It has a new available option. Uh, what I'm going to do today is go over the parts and features of the Dream Pen, especially the new option, uh, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about this pen. I'll show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to the good folks over at Wancher for providing this pen for review. Wancher is a company based out of the Oida area of Japan, which is in the southern part of the country. They introduced their popular Dream Pen model a few years ago, and variations on this model have become a staple of their offerings. I'll show you a few different models during the writing sample. Wancher has done a really great job of coming out with a wide variety of unique treatments for this design. The pen arrives in this nice softwood box. You know, I really like softwood boxes like this. There's just something so Japanese about these, and there's generally something cool inside. You take this tassel off, and inside there is some padding. Then inside here, there is a little packet of short standard international cartridges. Um, there is a card with a QR code where you could find some uh, the use and care guide. There is some warranty information. Uh, and then there is a little marketing piece uh, about the Dream Pen line. Then, most importantly, we have the pen. It arrives in this nice sleeve. Um, the, this, these sleeves do come in a variety of patterns, so the sleeve that you receive might look different than this one. And inside, we have the pen. Uh, this is the Wancher Dream Pen True Ebonite in Matte Black. And the newest available option for these pens is a clip. Uh, the pen has a classic cigar shape, and as the name would imply, it is made from ebonite, and has a matte finish. Uh, regarding the matte finish, it's something I would categorize as a, a light matte. It's not as pronounced as I've seen on other pens with matte finishes, but it isn't polished either. It's kind of halfway between. Personally, I'm fond of matte finishes, so while my preference would have been for the matte to be a bit more prominent, I still think it looks nice. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the cap. It is rounded. Uh, then we have the new optional feature for this pen, the chrome plated clip. Uh, the cap is one solid piece, so the clip is affixed through a slot in the cap. Uh, the clip is somewhat similar in design to what you find on a number of Pilot pens, though Pilot's clips are uh, wider at the top and have a more pronounced taper to the ball. Uh, the clip functions well in materials of varying thicknesses. Um, I've purchased other pens which gave you the option of including a clip or not, and generally in those cases I feel the clipless option looks a little bit better for the overall look. Um, I have several Wancher pens with treatments which I feel would not work well for a clip, but I think it looks really great on this black uh, matte black model. Um, I think the clip looks natural, and the pen looks great with or without it. Here's actually a matte black version without it, so you can kind of see the comparison between the two. The cap tapers up until about the last half inch where it straightens out. There's no exterior branding or engraving on this pen. At the end of the cap, there is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which, like the top of the cap, is rounded. The cap twists off with two rotations. Now, there is a spring-loaded inner cap that you can feel. It helps keep the nib from drying out when capped. When capping the pen, you need to press down slightly. Now, there have been other Wancher models where I've felt the spring action was a bit too strong. But on this pen, the amount of compression necessary for the threads to come in contact feels right. So it's nice to see that Wancher has dialed that in. Once you remove this cap, underneath we have a number six stainless steel nib engraved with the Wancher logo and name. Uh, this nib is available in a few different options. This one here is a Yovo nib available in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, a 1.1 and 1.5 stub. There are silver and gold plated options. Uh, Wancher also produces an in-house nib, which is available in a semi-flex hard fine steel. And there are 18 karat gold in-house nib options as well. Um, I've enjoyed the uh, Wancher in-house nibs that I've tested. And here's a look at the plastic feed. 
There's also some options to include a black ebonite feed with this pen, as well as an option for a red ebonite feed, which provides a really nice pop of color. The section begins with a flare and angles up until you reach the threads and a prominent step up to the barrel. Um, even though I find my grip to rest on the threads in that transition, I don't find them to be uncomfortable, even for longer writing sessions. Uh, this is a cartridge converter pen. It accepts standard international cartridges, some of which are provided uh, in that very cute little pouch I showed you earlier, and a converter is included as well. The Wancher Dream Pen is available on the Wancher site. I'll put a link to where you can find it in the notes below. The base price for this pen is $200. Uh, the chrome-plated or gold-plated clips are an additional $30. Uh, there are also some upgrade options as well, as well as I, I mentioned the feeds, which are in the uh, $30 to $45 range. Uh, overall, I feel that the Dream Pen offers a really good value for what you receive. It's something that I've enjoyed. Uh, it's a solid design, it performs well, and on this model I'm, I'm enjoying the optional clip. I think it looks really nice. Okay, now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. So here we go with some size comparisons for the Wancher Dream Pen True Ebonite in matte black. Um, now this is a previous matte black version, and then this is a another Dream Pen which is more polished. And so you can kind of see that it is kind of a treatment that is not as matte as this model, but not as matte, uh, polished as this model. So it's somewhere in between. And in regard to a couple of other Dream Pen models, uh, here is one of the original ones with the red Arushi lacquer on it. And then here's one of my favorite Dream Pens, which is the Kiei Arushi, which um, has a leaf. Uh, this is a real leaf that's imprinted on here. Not imprinted, it's actually um, applied on top of there. And I just really love the looks and the color and then the leaf aspect of that pen as well. In regard to one more Wancher pen, this is what it looks like with the Japan Blue, which is very similar to a Sailor Pro Gear. And then here it is with a Pelican M805. And here it is with a Pilot Custom 845. In regard to uncapped comparisons, this is what it looks like with the 845 and the Japan Blue, and then the Pelican M805. Here we go with the writing sample for the Wancher Dream Pen. And this has a rather long name. This is the True Ebonite. Matte Black. And this has a medium stainless steel nib. And the ink I'm using is one of my favorites, which is Papier Plume. And this is number 11. This is what the color looks like. It's a nice kind of reddish brown. Uh, and this is what it looks like in comparison to Private Reserve Copper Burst. And then here it is with Diamine's Ancient Copper. This was an ink that Papier Plume released for their 11th anniversary. And as you can see, it is uh, Stranger Things themed. It kind of has a Stranger Things font. And then rather than the, uh, the wax being on the top of the cap to represent the upside down, they put it on the bottom of the bottle. So if you can get your hands on some, this is one of my favorite Papier Plumes inks that they came out with. Plus it was a really fun uh, review to make if you wanted to go back and take a look at that. And here we go with the rest of the writing sample. This medium Yovo nib performs very well. 
Um, it is fairly smooth, has just a hair of feedback. I call it good feedback. You're not going to get a lot of line variation out of here. Um, in regard to ink flow, it's generous. And in regard to reverse writing, it's slightly scratchy, but gets the job done. And in regard to some fast writing, the feet keeps up well. So there we have the Wancher Dream Pen True Ebonite in Matte Black. Um, I think that the addition of the, the clip is really great for this pen. I think it looks really solid and looks classy on this and I enjoy the clip design. So I'm glad that they added this option. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.